Shuddhavan Lahuti Gyanamata Pura Kaunjilinji. You must have respect for them. It would be a great honor to uh, be allowed to introduce Professor Gluckman, who certainly needs no introduction. She, was the, she and her team were the pioneers who did the first successful human umbilical cord transplant. And from their work came the international presence now of cord blood banks that have stored tens of thousands of units of cord blood and that are being distributed appropriately around the world to treat human illness. A tremendous success and in innovation. I would like my special thanks to Dr. Niranjan Bhattacharya who has been really uh, very uh, very efficient in the field of uh, stem cell transplantation and stem cell biology, which is a very new and exciting thing. A um, few words of uh, why I am here, but uh, my field is hematology, and I have been working in uh, bone marrow transplantation for many years. I was trained by two Nobel Prize, Professor Dosse, who invited Echele, and Professor Thomas was the first to do transplantation for, for uh, hematology. So I had uh, very good teachers. So for regenerative medicine has started there and Dr. Niranjan Bhattacharya is the driving force. And in the last two, three years, the government has taken many steps to take it forward. The first of all, we have set up a cord blood bank this is the first such cord blood bank, I think, in the government sector anywhere in India. And I, I think it is one of the very few that we have in the country. And uh, this itself will show the, uh, you know, the interest that the government is taking in this area. Uh, common in genetic age group, not only for aging process, but also different disease process also. Uh, in ICU, it's uh, in Indian scenario, the uh, percentage of death is almost 60 percent of all indoor ICU patients. So I was wondering the possibility of uh, treating sepsis with stem cell therapy. Good afternoon. My name is Priyo Dashi, and I am just doing my MPhil under uh, Dr. Nirajan Bhattacharya. Uh, um, my topic is adipose derived mesenchymal stem cells for treating stroke and treatment brain injury and immense region regenerative application mm -hmm. from veins to veins. It's just a bit, sort of a hypothetical type of poster that I have tried to uh, put up here. That means all degenerative, end state degenerative organs, stem cell can provide potentialities for regeneration. By this concept of regenerative medicine, you are just changing the dying and the dead cell with immortal cells, young immortal cells. Now the question is, there are many ifs and buts. Many things, stem cell science like any other, is extremely dynamic. Naturally, in a dynamic science there will be conflict, newer ideas, somebody would be claiming you are wrong and the other party would be saying you are wrong. Okay? We will fight among ourselves. In a creative fight, eventually there would be release of specific truth, which is not further destructible. Thank you, delegates. We had a very wonderful inaugural session followed by first keynote lecture by Madame Gluckman from Paris. We are really overwhelmed with the success of these two sessions.